Alpha Power Group's video learning series. Today's title, Explaining a Power Purchase Agreement. There are several ways to go solar. They all have their advantages and disadvantages because every situation is a little different and there is not a one-size-fits-all solution. You really should speak to an advisor who understands and can explain the benefits and shortfalls of each option. A Power Purchase Agreement, or PPA, is where you continue to purchase power but at a rate cheaper than the utility company and with less than the average annual rate increase. In other words, the PPA provider steps in and becomes your new power provider and collects electric bills from you, acting as your new utility company. The rates can vary but are almost always cheaper than your traditional utility company's lowest tiered rate. And the escalator is also fixed at a rate typically half of your current power company's rate increases. Occasionally, a plan with no escalator is available, but it is then traded off for a higher per kilowatt rate. There is also typically little to no upfront costs, such as permitting, installation, activation, down payments, etc. The PPA, in a sense, simply becomes a cheaper rate plan, with a guaranteed rate and escalator for a fixed amount of time. The typical PPA term is 20 years. It's not a bad deal, considering you are locking in a rate for power similar to if you were able to lock in a guaranteed price per gallon of gas for your car for a set amount of years where it could not change. One way the PPAs can get confusing is in how customers get billed for their power. Because solar production is independent of usage, your power bill is based off the power produced, not by how much you've used. It may seem counterintuitive at first, but when looked at over a 12 month span, you'll see that it averages out quite nicely and significantly less than what you would have paid to the other guys. Because you are paying for power and not the actual cost of the system, it technically is not a lease, although it sort of feels like one because you don't actually own your panels. The solar company maintains ownership. The benefit there is that they are also responsible for the maintenance and performance of the system. Some offer monitoring as well. Because you don't have ownership, you also won't get to take advantage of any potential tax credits. One area of concern is the liability and the ability to transfer in the event of selling your home. Make sure the PPA being offered does not place a lien on your house and see if there will be credit requirements for the new owners to pick up the PPA. Otherwise, you may end up finding yourself having to buy out of it. Home sales with PPAs attached are fairly commonplace and typically is as simple as changing the utility into a new name. Furthermore, it should be seen as a benefit to the buyer seeing as they're getting a house with reduced rates for electricity. In short, if you want a simple way to go solar and not have any upfront out-of-pocket expenses and you're not likely to qualify for the tax credits, then the PPA might be for you. The best way to know if the PPA plan would save you the most money and what your options are is to contact an Alpha Power Group representative today for a free, no obligation energy assessment. At Alpha Power Group, knowledge really is power.